Welcome back everyone on uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla So here we are The quest uh, is uh, chapter 4 of the Thane of uh, Lincoln With Alfgar's name put forward as worthy successor to the late uh, Handbort Eivor sets out to visit the Thane in a bit to get to know him better. Speak to Alfgar. Okay, let's get uh, over there. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. I <laughs> activated I'm the auto run, so <laughs> it went crazy for a minute. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon, finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, How does a great it look bear like? has been badgering wait, my estate. Wait a minute. It's, uh, it's beautiful. There, there are uh, ravens on it. Uh. For eagles. Okay, keep in mind for now. Must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. Because that is the it's uh, you know its final uh, appearance. So, so if you upgrade it, uh, is all but ended. Oh. the look People won't change it anymore. With life, with promise. Like uh, the boy I, I have uh, on. Languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy Beautiful fools like Carefree and Bunwald this, uh... say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. Uh, narrow paths, I remember uh, when the Danes first arrived. Not long in ago. The, in the forests. The locals were terrified. The forest. Are we hunting, Alfgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. My old friend Grimm. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. 
What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other, as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Eivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? He conducted us uh, in this place uh, for what? Then? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have mm -hmm. a if he used to, uh, if he used to do this, uh, the why in no uh, this place. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not a bear. Wolves. Guys, I uh, powered up a bit the here. volume of my microphone, so you should uh, hear me better than my past uh, videos. Opal <laughs> hidden. <laughs> that smoke! My God! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! Yeah. I must be careful now. I hate to disappear the soldiers because uh, they defend uh, they defend so well by putting the just putting the lance uh, like the spear like this and uh, you can't uh, really do nothing. Where are 
they going uh, with this fight? As you see, I can set a uh, trap uh, on the bodies now, like uh, I was used to on uh, Origins. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire Moot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Trouble me any longer! Elfgar! <laughs> careful! There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant! Okay, shall we go to speak with this uh, archer? Archer! Is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm okay, curious to see uh... this Shiremoot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership. Not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not uh, the devil, as I fear. You need to be careful. <laughs> Speak with the council, may help you with your decision. Okay. <laughs> shall we do? Uh, we shall do it. So uh, I may cut uh, here uh, to. Uh, so I speak with everyone and then we get back to it. Three men. Three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? 
The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three, and has already proven himself. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful Shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hundbjorn, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I, I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, Humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. No, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Is the right choice. Out of guys, uh, steal yeah, yourself. Yeah, with different. Take you. Another battle. Hold steady, Elder Man. Grab any army. The Abbot was evil, and uh, I felt it about him. He was too. Too, too much wise, too much gentle with us. Men of Lincolnshire, stand firm! Defend your elderman! Kill these traitors! I'm so happy about this. Is this how that guard welcomes a new elderman? So sorry. <laughs> This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Humboldt. The ultimate seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. He won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. 
We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs, and tend to the remaining wounded, until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God, or... or the gods, to you. Okay. Solum modo in paradisum. Pax Eterna is una via ad emundationem propriae vitae eius What? What did you say? <laughs> I'm so happy that we did the right choice because uh, the priest was uh, very wise <laughs> but it, I sort of didn't trust him same uh, in the beginning when we met him for the first time with uh, with Basim, instead uh, the other one that we could have chosen, uh, instead the other uh, uh, man we could have chosen, uh, it was uh, uh, it was okay, but uh, some sort uh, I felt that he was uh, cunning, uh, too cunning. Uh, and who knows, maybe uh, your choice was uh, different uh, from mine. Oh. <laughs> and maybe uh, you had a uh, better, uh, better king, better elderman. Ah. Although I'm uh, happy what uh, with uh, what happened. A bold attack, and in broad daylight, the hatred that eats at that man must be ravenous. What news, Hunvald? Okay, this is the We've learned that Erevrith rode for the fort at Anicastri, following the massacre. I have assembled a feared there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. <laughs> you mean your orders, <laughs> Selderman? Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp, and we'll find out together. Perivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked oh, the name of an okay. ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story Wait, for now. Uh, oh, this right. will send waves of it unlocked us a new order member in the end. Oh, look at him. Look at him. How beautiful. Okay. This gets uh, interesting. Imagine, uh, imagine if it would have uh, become uh, Elderman. Harifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting <laughs> man, if a little soft, <laughs> but stranger still. I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. A poor lady. We spoke briefly. 
Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think we she'll be fine. We are the men of Lincolnshire. Remember it. Here's the camp, do you see? The feared will soon be ready for action. Give them mead and let them rest. There's hard fighting ahead. The captain. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Avel. Can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready, then? We attack now. Ready the feared. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Hmm. To me, holy warriors of Lincolnshire! The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Look out! Okay. Incoming! Shield! Shields up! <laughs> Take cover! Beautiful, they tell you, leave the ram, uh, we don't need it. <laughs> so well made. understand what he did but uh, there must be a way we have to okay nice <laughs> I already know <laughs> come on uh, it must explode nice it works then Oh, who was the? <laughs> who was? <laughs> 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 A 
come on. Not uh, your time. <laughs> okay, beautiful. I accept it. <laughs> it was uh, it was a great uh, glitch. <laughs> I have to lower the the bridge. No escape, you yellow. You didn't, you didn't expect that. A challenge at last. Ah. Ah. You are finished. Ah. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Herafrith has gone mad. You point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Your bard. Let's find a way to decide from where. Okay. It's a respite, Lord, please. Our battle is lost. Continue the work of God, my boy. Kill this pagan. It can be done stealthy. Beautiful. No, 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 no. <laughs> we come to the age there. Each wrist is shoulder big coomer. Beautiful. died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancient dead. That's the folly of mankind, Herevrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. You should have learned to enjoy it. killed him <laughs> before I heard the, the sound of uh... nice ok speak to Ungold let's get out of here It's available for the kill. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I'd skewer the talking squid. Hey. <laughs> 
What is he doing? Eivor, is he... Is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. You fought well, ferocious swan. Notched a few scars in your baby fat today. Yes, but they will heal. And stronger than before. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it, now it seems the wind calls Beautiful. me back to Ranji. Beautiful quest. Let's tell her the good news. Okay, so he goes somewhere now. Wow. Wait a moment. Uh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that is my... It's my... <laughs> what I do in my free time in this game. <laughs> it was not rubbish, I intended to use it. Please, calm down. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Eivor. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced, with scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sale with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took some bung to you and defaced, defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? 
Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. Gudrun, you- I have been robbed, Eivor. My property defaced. Three days ago, I, I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly this Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. Now. I confronted him. I asked all- So Holger took something- That is right. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Holger has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the ba- Quiet! Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that- What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty Selthoths. Thirty times? Surely you jest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holger? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is- Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Now you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your yard, the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my yarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Not defer to those wiser than yourself. My judgment stands. Thirty times the sailcloth's value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again. Do not fail to rouse me. He became a, a monster, oh my god. Can we talk to him? Sigurd, leave me be, if you wish it. I saw, I saw. I would have expected that they would arrive 
soon after uh, I started to to hear him. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, <laughs> should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. I want to see the Alliance map. Yeah, Gloucestershire. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. <laughs> when did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper. If only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Okay, guys. We I can stop here. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. It was a full episode of everything. So, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Remember that there is a huge playlist uh, <laughs> Of Valhalla that uh, you can uh, watch uh, if you if you ever have the patience to do it. See ya the next time.